going to take a quick look at some new rear projection material from a company called ProLite. They're based here in California. This is their thin, dark gray pro rear projection material. Uh, it's very similar to uh, material I've already reviewed by Ice AV. Their Hola Contra film is very similar to this. It is a dark gray material. It has a piece of clear mylar on one side that has an adhesive layer for the dark gray material. You can choose to adhere it or not adhere it to your acrylic or glass surface when you're displaying your image on it. The material itself has a gain of three, a transmittance of 55%, and a viewing angle of 125 degrees, plus or minus uh, five degrees, depending on the light conditions. Uh, all very, all exactly similar pretty much to the ICE AV stuff. Um, I have a picture here showing this is the Ice AV dark gray material, and this is the ProLite stuff. So, as you can see, pretty much exactly the same. Probably the same distributor. Eh, who knows. Anyways, um, prices can be seen on their websites or on my personal website blog. The light transmittance of 55% is a pretty common uh, number for a dark gray rear projection material. You can see my fingers. Uh, behind it and they come into view when you get really close on top of it. Similar to the rear projection acrylic from companies such as um, Prolite and also Evonik and the commonly used material that I always review is the uh, 7512 and the 7006 which are my favorites from Evonik Syro. Um, and now we're going to go step over and take a look at the material in a rear projection Okay, here we are, we're using a rear DI table setup with the four bar LED kits uh, going around the edges and the inside just as you've seen in my other rear DI install videos. Uh, on top here we have a piece of acrylic with the dark gray material from ProLite underneath uh, applied to the bottom side of the acrylic to reduce the reflections of the projected image. Uh, I had it flipped before and the bare acrylic was reflecting the image too much and uh, causing some crazy things going on. So anyways, uh, you can see this is a normal setup with rear of the eye and uh, you can see really good blob formation all across. So the material works really well, um, diffusing your blobs. I have it calibrated you know, fairly easily so you can play around with more um, precise controls, of course, for your material, but this is just showing that you can create really good blobs with this material. Uh, it is typically harder to create better, uh, good blobs with the thinner acrylic materials, um, or the, the thinner, more flexible materials versus the acrylic materials like the 7512 from Evonik, um, just because of the way that as the fingers come and the, the infrared light diffusing out of the box, uh, has uh, different properties in, in terms of uh, how they fuse and how the fingers uh, light up to form those blobs so you can track them for your uh, applications and your setups. But overall, really good material. Um, like I said, very similar, if not exactly the same material as I've already reviewed from the whole Contra people, just rebranded. Um, and you can find pricing on their websites or mine.